Good morning, Corey Ackman, Hammer Steel Performance. So, part two of the 92-100-106 comparison. And this time here, what we've done is we've stepped it up. Heads, uh, correction, cam, intake, and exhaust. And now we do a, uh, do a comparison. And so many of you guys and gals were a little bit um, taken off maybe by the fact that they all sort of produce similar horsepower while there was a big variance in torque production based off cubic inches. And what often happens is when you have the same limiting factors, whether it's the head flow, camshaft timing, um, you know, exhaust, whatever the case may be, if you have things that all, uh, or, or one of those things, limit power production, then what you'll tend to, tend to find is that, re, not necessarily regardless, but somewhat regardless of the displacement of the engine, you will produce similar peak horsepower numbers. Those normally will occur at different RPMs. And so as the engine gets smaller, it will make its horsepower further out in the RPM range. Um, and so that's that's what we'll, you know we'll take a look at here. The other thing is many people say that that's BS. Well, what I've also done is pulled up some dynographs of car engines that all um, have different displacements but have the same camshaft, heads, headers, intake. How does that? Does that make a big variance difference? Now, what I'll say is if you had um, two different displacements and you had a really, really, really good cylinder that flowed a lot, then you'll see higher horsepower production um, between a two different cubic inches. The bigger engine will make more horsepower. Likewise, if you run more cam time, you have a bigger camshaft, um, you'll often see a bigger engine make more power. It, it has more draw on that, um, meaning that it draws harder against the heads in the camshaft and will make more power because it can use the airflow or the cam timing that a smaller engine may not be able to. And also have thrown in there for my, hey, what about me, the one oh the guy that has the 08-09-2010 100 cubic inch engine, where's my horsepower numbers at? Well, later on in the video, we have you covered as well. All right, let's move on. Great. Quick recap from <clears throat> part one video. So this is what we have here. This is a comparison of a 92 cubic inch, 100 cubic inch, and a 106 steel frame. And these are all stock intake, stock camshaft, and some form of stage one slip-on exhaust for the uh, for the steel frames. And these are run, obviously, they are all run different days and times, but it gives you a general trend of uh, the power production. We notice that with, with displacement comes increased low-speed torque, but we all see that they're all within a couple horsepower um, of each other out there at the peaks. So I just want to recap that right quick, and now let's transition. So before we move into the comparison of the of our victory engines, what I want to do uh, is show you this graph here. Now this graph here was done by Richard Holdner. Um, he has a YouTube channel. He does. He's been doing videos for years, doing comparisons and things like that. So what you have here is a Chevy 302, a Chevy 327, and a Chevy 350 that have the same intake carburetor headers similar heads and similar camshafts they're all uh, the, the dundoff cams the 461 camel hump heads and uh, i believe it's a holly rpm air gap two intake but if you notice if you look at the far right hand side of the scale even though you have nearly 50 cubic inches difference you'll see they all make very similar peak horsepower. However, if we look at the far left-hand side of the scale, you see a great variance 
um, on torque. So there's this is not a this is not a theory. This is um, you know this is what happens when you have similar components that provide a restriction to the engine on displacement, which will produce similar peak horsepower numbers but widely different torque numbers. Let's move on to the next example. All right, another shout out to uh, the Engine Masters, which uh, is on Motor Trend. And this example we see here is a 360 cubic inch small block Mopar compared to a 410 cubic inch small block Mopar with the same headers, same camshaft, same Edelbrock Performer uh, heads, intake carburetor. Once again, you'll see a widely variant difference in torque because of the displacement. But if you look at the far right hand of the screen, horsepower wise, they're within three or four horsepower of each other um, on the big end. And again, just sort of recapping two examples of what happens uh, when you use similar components on different size engines. Now that we've looked at some examples where we saw other engine families, car engines that had the same camshaft heads intake and exhaust produced very similar numbers with vastly different cubic inches from horsepower standpoint. Um, now let's take a look at our, our victory family. So what we have here is a 92 cubic inch in black on the graph here. We have a 106 cubic inch steel frame in blue. And we have in red, we have a uh, 07 100 cubic inch engine. And they all have, all have a two and two exhaust, DR cams, torque tube intakes. Very similar. Once we see here is a vastly different um, torque production. And also a caveat on this, on the 106 blue, this run was in fourth gear. So you'll see torque and horsepower numbers will be one or, you know one to three less than what you would see if it was a fifth gear run, but that's just because of the rev extender. So that's why you see it start at a different RPM. But with that being said, you'll notice that they are all um, vastly different in torque production. But if you go to the big end, they are all within one horsepower of each other, a horsepower and a half of each other, where they make um, their power at. So I thought that was, again, when you have very similar uh, components onto an engine, they will produce very similar horsepower results, but greatly different torque results. Got one more surprise for you. Let's move on. Hold on. Lastly, what we've done here, and this is not a very, this is a, I took a, a screenshot or took a picture of my computer, so it's not a super good resolution um, picture here. But what we've done in gold, and you can't really see it well, is I've added a 08 100 inch engine with DR cams, torque tube intakes, two and two exhaust um, on there. And you'll notice this one here, she's, she's, again, another fourth gear run, so numbers are slightly lower than they would be in fifth gear. <clears throat> but what you what you notice is that, you know, again, down on torque compared to the uh, 106 and also even compared a little bit to the 100 cubic inch and down on horsepower. And so what we have an example here is, <clears throat> is the major difference here. So we all have the same heads. We have the same intake, similar exhaust, same camshaft but well, we introduced a much lower compression. And that lower compression uh, impacts the engine's ability to make power. So when uh, the, that, that, 10, that 08 100 is well below nine to one compression, the 92 is uh, 9.2 compression, the 100 is 9.8, and the 106 is 9.4. So similar, similar com comparison and compression, um, except for the 108. So what you see here, is results as the the uh, 108 is is down uh you know six seven horsepower and uh and it's down a little bit of torque as well so there you go those are the comparisons of the uh 
of four engines, two 100s, a 92, and a 106. All right, so again, uh, I think that stuff's pretty cool. I really do in, enjoy uh, digging through old combinations and trying to find things that are similar or dissimilar uh, and, and to share. Um, I think that, you know, probably, you know, except for maybe some of the extreme uh, gearheads that we have um, in the victory community, most people would be a little bit surprised to see um, the engines making such similar peak horsepower. But when we talk about rideability, so you look at that, in this one example with the V92, I mean, she's down on torque everywhere. And either the 100 or the 106 would be would feel much better, much stronger, more responsive to any part throttle inputs in there. So let's not be tricked just by peak horsepower numbers um, that are similar. These engines all have vastly different personalities. And as the engine gets bigger, it is a whole lot more fun to ride because you do have um, that, you know, instantaneous torque production of the bigger engine to make it uh, much more responsive on the street or even um, at the drag strip. All right. Cool. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you.